Okay, so we'll see by looking at the PDR.net that we don't have the information for ISO view, which means we're going to come back and go into our, fan, our friendly, uh, our friend Google, <laughs> and look up the term ISO view. This is very important because we want to make sure we know exactly what is this drug, and also because we have to identify the type of contrast. So we put put in ISO view, which comes up with a generic term, lopamidol which is a non-iconic low osmolar contrast. So getting that information, it's important to use all of your resources and then come back to our code book until you know those for sure. How would you know these terms for sure? How would you know the medications? If you are finding yourself as a radiologist coder, you will get to the point where you start to memorize the different terms and different medications. It's not expected that you know everything out in the world, only that you have tools and resources that you can utilize to find it. Okay, so we're going to still be in BR1 because this is still imaging or fluoroscopy of the spine and it's still in the lumbar where the injection was actually performed. Okay, so even though it was, it was entered into the L5 to the S1, this was not a joint, so we would not be going down to the lumbar sacral joint. We will stay in the lumbar spine as it is the highest of the two. Okay, so BR1, 9. We know that the medication that's given as contrast is isoview, and that that is a low osmolar. So we're going to enter that one. And then our last two are, again, ZZ. All right, so that's all that I have for this week for our coding clinic with Ms. Melanie, uh, coding segment. Go ahead and take a look at the videos for this week's module, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks so much.